my personal assistant over there. Thanks a lot, Doug. Vin Parisi here alongside Julianne Viani, and we're with the dean of the MAC coaches, Gina Costelli. And coach, you've seen the MAC tournament in lots of different venues over the years, so you're probably the best person to gauge. What are your thoughts on the Basketball Hall of Fame as the new home right now? This is really exciting. You know, um, I'm really, I, I really like how Rich Ensor in the MAC just takes chances and risks. You know, this is a this is a, a new thing for for us, but it's a it's new for everybody, you know, in in the basketball world. And and what better place to play than the Basketball Hall of Fame? So, I'm really really excited, and I can't wait for our team to get here. And coach, let's talk about the upcoming season. Obviously, you guys lost a lot of seniors, so you guys are a pretty young team. Tell me how important it is for Centeno to really lead the squad this year. Well, we are we are a young team, and it's very difficult to replace freshmen with seniors. Uh, you know, especially when you're looking at a loss with Serena Moore, Kathy Cockrum, and Missy Ramsey were great defensive players for us. So, they're losses that are really going to hurt. But you know, I'm really confident and. Um, really inspired by the improvement that our post players may have made this summer and uh, over the course of the season so far. So, you know, all of all of our players have to really step up. And I think that, you know, our trip overseas really helped us, gave us a little bit of confidence, uh, more experience. So, you know, going into this year uh, looks looks really bright, even though we're very young. In terms of the league as a whole, every year the past couple of seasons there's been a different team. You have Marist at the top and then there's always a couple of surprising teams. What are your thoughts on the conference and some of the up-and-coming squads? I think the conference has just gotten more competitive through the years. You know, every team is a tough team. You know, uh, last year I think there were a few teams that just were bitten by injuries and or their youth. And I think right now this is a team, this is a league this year where a lot of those kids are back, whether it's from injury or for experience. So, you know, I think this this year is going to be very very competitive in our league. And coach, you've obviously been to postseason play in the past. What do you think the key is this season in particular for your team to get back on that on that roadmap? Consistency. I think that's the biggest thing. You can't just, you know, play well in the in the max season. You have to have uh, great consistency throughout. And, you know, obviously with a young team, that's a hard thing to have. But I think that's that's one thing as well as you have to be healthy. I think that you have to be very, very lucky in that sense to have the health, have players in the beginning and the end to take you there. In terms of recruiting philosophy, your roster, you've done it multiple ways over the years. Some local talent, some international flair. What do you look for when you're building your philosophy? Well, I think talent is very important. So I think that's one of the first things you look for in the position that you need. I think character is also very, very important. You know, uh, the type of kid that you're going to get, the work ethic that they have. Those, those things to me are very important. And coach, this past summer you went to Italy. You mentioned it before. Can you tell us a little bit about what you saw in your freshmen? I know you said you were pretty yeah. pleased with how they did. Well, we also went to Denmark, which uh, we have two players from uh, the Denmark area, and uh, with Maya Gerling and Ida Crow, who's a, a freshman. And we have also Clara Soleil from Spain. So it was a great opportunity for us to meet some of their family and to be out there. So we played the Danish national team, which was a very, very strong team. The first game, not so good for us, but the second game we played very competitively. And the, uh, the, the teams in Italy were strong, especially the last team we played. I thought what I liked the most about our team is that we got better throughout every game even though we couldn't practice. So, you know, it was just a little talking to, at, you know, before the game, uh, maybe a couple of days after the games that we played, and they were able to bounce back and, and do better. So I liked how we were resilient and were able to just take instruction and do better. You gonna take a stroll around the Hall of Fame when we're done here, or you know this like the back of your hand? No, I don't know it by <laughs> the back of my hand, but I definitely will take a stroll, so I will. All right, thanks so much, Coach. Good luck in the upcoming season. Let's toss it over to Doug, who's with St. Peter's head coach, John Dunn.